Well, my name is Kelly Gamfield. Um, I live in Wiltshire now. Um, I'm originally from Plymouth in Devon, now part of the Invictus Games, uh, which is absolutely incredible. I was a military clerk um, in the British Army and then unfortunately I had a short uh, career because I became ill, um, didn't know what was wrong with myself and then before I knew it I got medically discharged. It's not a, a rare blood condition but it's um, a blood disorder that I have which is called antiphospholipid syndrome. Um, I had a, two clots to the back of the brain um, that caused me to obviously lose my, my vision. I also have epilepsy as a result of that. Um, I have Raynaud's phenomenon, which is lack of circulation, and I have a brain injury. I've always been a very, very sporty person. It keeps me fit and healthy because obviously I've been quite poorly over the years. It pushes me to, to drive myself and push my boundaries, and I, I love it. And now that I know I'm in the Invictus Games, I just, it's just given me that even more of a push to succeed. I don't mind, you know, if I don't get a medal. It's not all about that. It's about participating, being happy, knowing that you've contributed. And to be fair, the most important thing for myself, because of coming out of the British Army the way that I did, I will be more than happy knowing that I've just represented my country yet again. Um, that's the most important thing for me. I'm doing the 100 metres sprint. Um, I'll be tied to a, a guide and I'm also um, doing the rowing. Uh, that's on an erg. Thanks to Prince Harry really um, and everything that he's um, done and what he's created. Um, looked after the guys and girls and he's an inspiration himself and I just wish to to represent my country and and make everybody proud of me and fulfill I guess my destiny. My little two-year-old daughter um, has cerebral palsy and She's my biggest inspiration um, because I want her to see that even with all the disabilities that I have, which are hidden disabilities, um, there is nothing that you can't do. And I will always encourage her to at least try. Um, she might not succeed the first time uh, or the second time, but I'll keep encouraging her and I just want her to see that actually Everything and anything is possible. It was very special actually because um, it represents, you know, both our colours. Um, it's kind of our uniform, which I find, you know, immense really. It was just a really lovely touch. Um, I was quite emotional when we were all given it, to be quite honest, because it actually proves that you are part of the Invictus Games um, and there's nothing nothing better than than actually being able to represent your country and, and wearing the t-shirt and wearing something that's so lovely. No matter what challenges you have to overcome for myself um, and that has been many um, Just pick yourself up, keep going, prove people wrong, prove yourself wrong, because you do doubt yourself a lot. And be patient with yourself, which I think is a very, very important thing, which I've had to learn a great deal about. And I'm just grateful of the, the people that I've had around me, my family, um, all the professionals that have helped me, the charities that have helped me. Um, I probably wouldn't be standing here at all if it wasn't for all those people. Um, so I have many, many people to thank. Having my brain injury has, has stopped me from doing so many things. Um, and I never thought it would be possible. Whereas now I've got the attitude that 
actually everything is possible if you put your mind to it.